Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Deuteronomy chapter 2, beginning at verse 1 and ending at verse 25. This is the English Standard Version. The Wilderness Years Then we turned and journeyed into the wilderness in the direction of the Red Sea, as the Lord told me. And for many days we traveled around Mount Sire. Then the Lord said to me, You have been traveling around this mountain country long enough. Turn northward and command the people. You are about to pass through the territory of your brothers, the people of Esau, who live in Sire, and they will be afraid of you, so be very careful. Do not contend with them, for I will not give you any of their land. No, not so much as for the sole of the foot to tread on, because I have given Mount Sire to Esau as a possession. You shall purchase food from them with money, that you may eat, and you shall also buy water from them with money, that you may drink. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. He knows you're going through this great wilderness. These forty years, the Lord your God has been with you. You have lacked nothing. So we went on away from our brothers, the people of Esau, who live in Sire, away from the Arabah, road from Elath and Ezion Geber. And we turned and went in the direction of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said to me, Do not harass Moab or contend with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land for a possession, because I have given Ar to the people of Lot for a possession. The Imim formerly lived there, a people great and many and tall as the Anakim. Like the Anakim, they are also counted as Riphim, but the Moabites called them Emim. The Horites also lived in Sire formerly, but the people of Esau dispossessed them and destroyed them from before them, and settled in their place, as Israel did to the land of their possession, which the Lord gave to them. Now rise up and go over the brook Zered. So we went over the brook Zered, and the time from our leaving Kadesh Barnea, until we crossed the brook Zered was thirty-eight years, until the entire generation, that is the men of war, had perished from the camp, as the Lord had sworn to them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them, to destroy them from the camp, until they had perished. So as soon as all the men of war had perished and were dead from among the people, the Lord said to me, Today you are to cross the border of Moab at Ar. And when you approach the territory of the people of Ammon, do not harass them or contend with them, for I will not give you any of the land of the people of Ammon as a possession, because I have given it to the sons of Lot for a possession. It is also counted as a land of Rephim. Rephim formerly lived there, but the Ammonites called them Zamzumamim a people great and many, and tall as the Anakim. But the Lord destroyed them before the Ammonites, and they dispossessed them and settled in their place, as he did for the people of Esau, who lived in Sire, when he destroyed the Horites before them. And they dispossessed them and settled in their place even to this day. As for the Avim, who lived in villages as far as Gaza, the Kaphtarim, who came from Kaphtor, destroyed them and settled in their place, Rise up, set out on your journey, and go over the valley of Arnon. Behold, I have given into your hand Sihon the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to take possession and contend with him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you on the peoples who are under the whole heaven, who shall hear the report of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.